Happy Monday. <laughs> happy Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Happy Monday. Your girl, Miss Bev, is back again, my people. If you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, please, I'm asking you to jump over there and subscribe to the channel. Like the videos. Leave me a comment on the videos. Totally appreciate all of you guys. Totally appreciate all of you. So grand rising to you wherever you are. I'm just hoping that all is well with you. And for those of you who are going through your moments, you know, everybody has their what's matter. So my grandmother used to say, everybody has something that's not so right that they have to deal with. But I want you to always remember though that it's not only you. You are not the only one who have, who is going through something or who have been through something. I want you to remember that. I want you to be hopeful. Life happens. If it's somebody who is sick and you think they're dying, or they, remember you're not the only one, guys. And I always say to us, when we have people, elderly people, who we're lucky to see them, you know, gradually just pass away in their own bed sometimes, or even in the hospital, but you're able to visit them and talk to them. They're able to give you blessings. If they were people like those who, who were willing to bless you, it's a good thing. Don't be selfish and sit there wanting people to be struggling. And you, 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 you don't want to let go. Let it go, guys. Let it go. Be grateful for the years they have spent. Be grateful for all the blessings they have brought to your life. Be grateful that God has kept them for such a long time. They have lived to see their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren. So stop making it seem like, oh my God, I can't deal with it. We can deal with it. Cut it out. I don't know how to handle things like those. I don't like when people are reaching out and they're not realistic. I want you to be realistic and understand that dying, death and dying, it's part of our, as long as we're alive, that's the surest thing we have. The one thing we are sure of is that if there's life, there has to be death. And so guys, if when your people get older, don't think it's easy to live with aches and pains you can only look at them unhappy. They're sitting there and, but they're in aches and pains to get up. Somebody have to help them to get some. It's not a good thing. Why are you beset with gloom? Why are you letting gloom eat in the way at you? Instead of just saying, Lord, you know, I don't want them to suffer. If it's your will, you know, let it pass. Let it, you know, if it's your will, if it, if, you know, it's their time. Let them let them pass away peacefully. Don't put them through the torment and the anguish. You know, a lot of them have lost their mind. They don't even know their children. They have become so aggressive. But yet we are so beset with gloom because you cannot do before you you just pray that God will 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 give will just give them rest. There's nothing wrong with it. But I think it's selfish. It's a selfish thing. And if those of us who are holding on, and if you need to apologize to them, apologize to them. And if there were people who were harsh, talk to them and tell them, prepare themselves. And you tell them, I forgive you for all the hard times that we had. I forgive you for some of the harsh words you spoke to me. But maybe because you spoke them to me, I became a better man. Or maybe we never became better. But I'm just saying to us, guys, we cannot be selfish. When people are sick, stop sitting there crying and, 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 and asking God, why, why, why? When the people are so sick and in pain every day. Who wants to see somebody in pain that you can't do a thing about? When people are crying and you can't do anything, it's hard. So I'm just saying, guys, look. Wherever you are, whatever is happening, remember, don't be selfish. Don't be selfish. Let people pass 
on out of their pain and misery in a peaceful way. Hold their hands if you can, and if they're aggressive and it's hard, then just make them as comfortable as you can. But stop getting frustrated because you, you, you want them to continue living in the misery. That's just my opinion. I'm just... <laughs> That's just my opinion, guys, you know, as a human being. You know, I just know um, that speaking to many older people when I worked with them, that they're never happy to get to live long and to be in pain every day. You know, I'll never forget the lady the morning I was leaving work and was recongregated waiting on the bus. And she came out and I was talking with her. And, and um, she said she was 81 years old. And I made, and I said, God bless you. She said, where's the blessing? She said, what, where, where's the blessing? Just every day I get up, I'm in pain. Every day I'm suffering. Where's the blessing? And all of a sudden I realize it's not easy. You know, you talk about long life and this and that, but it comes with its own stuff. So this morning, actually, guys, and before me getting into that part of it, my message today, I was I wanted to tell you why Bev Brown is with me. Um, Bev Brown is on vacation. Bev Brown has been running the soup kitchen from we started. We started when she didn't even have a kitchen. She was cooking in her living room, but those meals were being cooked. Breakfast and dinner was prepared. Um, the people who got dry groceries, they were getting their bags right there from her living room. I saw that need and I decided to, um, with your support, all you donors who contributed <clears throat> your hard-earned monies, um, and together we built a decent kitchen where dishes could be turned down, where the groceries had a space to, to sit, where the stove and the gasoline and the refrigerator, everything had a space and the table had a space. So we built the kitchen and Bev Brown is still on it, still on it, still on it, right through. Um, last two weeks ago made a whole year that the soup kitchen has been up and running, right? Bev Brown has been managing it. She has been going to the market. She has been in Montego Bay getting, picking up the monies when I send it. Um, she w Just her two little feet and her hands was what she gave to us. She lent it to us. And she was over here doing the hard work. All right. Now I decided to come and I wanted it to be a working at a conference, a vacation for her where she's not cooking. She's not worrying about anything. She's just chilling. And so that's why Beth Brown is with me. So for all the people who are wondering, oh, as I said, you know, sisters, both everybody here has to do with the soup kitchen. So while we're here, we're singing, you see, dancing, we're having good conversations. We, we have, you know, we're looking to see if we're going to expand. Again, um, Sister Dawkins, they were doing the Mass Enos home, and we sat, we're talking about things. The home is now almost, it should be finished soon because all the materials are now there. Only thing is for the guy to finish what he's finished. The only thing that's left needed is the bathroom. So he has a toilet somewhere there, so he can still use the toilet. The idea and the, the, the expectation or the common sense thing is to get him out of the leaky places in with the chichi and the, and the duckhams um, so that he doesn't fall through the flooring um, and hurt himself. We know that he's partially blind, he's legally blind, and so we know that it can, it's not a good thing. So we know that now all the materials are, are, have been purchased. The guys have done some more work on it. The Solitex is there. The, the, the ply boards and all the ply boards that were needed are there. Well, uh, made it was purchased for them. Um, nails, window, everything, the doors, everything has been provided. And so we look forward to seeing that project done. All right. Um, 
So we've been here talking, right? So that's why Bev Brown is here, guys. She's on vacation. And I'm so thankful that, you know, I like to treat people the way I want to be treated. I mean, that guy on the plane, he echoed that again loudly and clearly. And I've always said it. We should always treat people the way we want to be treated. We should never feel like we're better than people. This year I came home here and it's, I think it's one of the best vacations I've had. It's not about the places we have been to, but it's, the, it's just that we, we are here, we have good laughter, I, I cook, and so nobody don't feel like, Lev Brown is here because I need. No, I cook. I cook, right? You see me doing fried dumplings and, and cooking up salt, fish, and cabbage and whatnot. I also, today I'm going to make rice and peas and, 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 and some more things and... I don't have a problem doing it. I'm in good company. I'm enjoying the stay here. It is not stressful. It is not like, you know, sometimes you're in places and you just feel down. There's no laughter. There's no excitement in you. But here, we, we it's, it's a beautiful setting. It's a beautiful setting. And so I'm happy she got to get her two weeks vacation. And when she goes back, she'll be refreshed and ready to go cook again and serve. I know people up there asking for her every time. <laughs> she gets the phone call, oh, so-and-so was asking for you, so-and-so asking. But she needed that break, guys. It's a full year that she has been going at it. And I'm grateful to God that he provided enough that I could make sure that they are being included and we're having a working vacation, um, looking to see where we go next and how we're gonna get there. And so just pray for us, pray for the soup kitchen. It started out as just an idea. Um, when I named it, the name just came out of nowhere. I just thought that because we were doing to bless, other, to bless others, that we should just call it a blessing soup kitchen because it will be a blessing to others. And so the name stuck. We have our t-shirts. I got a picture from the UK from... Um, Lady came in the UK sporting her Blessing Soup Kitchen t-shirt at the gym. Total awesomeness. One person missing from, from our, our working group here, our working vacation here, is Sister Ernestine. Sister Ernestine and her family has been a tower of support for the Blessing Soup Kitchen. When no funds were coming in, they continued to help me fund the soup kitchen. When no funds were coming in, when people have given and given, some people gave a second time, but we still needed funds to finish up. We still needed funds. When Golika came on board, a thousand dollars just for him to, 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 to get the place where it needed to be. And they were on board with me. They were on board. They were on board. So she's missing from this year's, um, conference but hopefully next time next year she will be ready and will be able to join us and so that we all four can again brainstorm and see how and where and why we should go forward um with with, with the soup kitchen so that's my thing this morning guys i said i needed to let you guys know because you know what even as an adult, I'm coming home and people are quick to, oh, why don't you do this? I don't get into people's business like that. If I see there's a need, I go and I take care of it. And people will be shocked. Oh, my God, how you knew, how you knew, how you knew, how you knew I needed this or I needed that. But that's how I roll. I'm not coming to tell anybody how to live their life or how to do what they do. But as soon as I'm, people hear, oh, why don't you go there? And, and today I was taking my shower and I'm like, you know, other people are coming home and nobody's asking them why they go to hotels, they go to where they want to go. And nobody questions them, why don't you go stay there? Why don't you go stay? But Beverly is coming. And as soon as Beverly says, oh, did you go here? Did you, why don't you? No, people, you need to give me a chance. I've made so much decisions in my life that have been so... Mwah, good so give me a chance give me respect i don't tell you guys how to do what you do but so please 
Give me that respect. I don't, I don't mess with you guys. I don't. I leave everybody to make what they want. And so don't, don't start the foolishness. You know, if I need and I reach out, it's one thing. If I put things in place to accommodate me when I get here, then please respect that. Respect that. So, again, for those who are curious, Bev Brown is on vacation. Sister Dawkins is on vacation. They're taking breaks. There are people who are busy doing for the communities. They are public servants doing a lot for the communities. And as I said, Bev Brown is not working. And she still gets up. She's getting people to their doctor's appointments. She's getting people, she's bathing people in the community who needs to be taken care of. She's cooking. She's getting Mr. Ena's clothes ready for church, washing it, ironing it. All those little things are the things that she does. So please, I'm saying to us, it's vacation time. Not just for Miss Bev, but for Miss Bev Brown as well. You call her Miss BB. <laughs> Sister Ernestine should have been here. Well, she's not here. She's in the UK. But she's so invested in the soup kitchen that I did make her the assistant director. So in the day I stepped down and she's ready to take on the task of just making funds get to the soup kitchen. Her family has been instrumental. Lady K from the UK. I just so appreciate you. I so respect you, and I just say, may God bless you in a special way for all that you have done and continues to do for the Blessing Soup Kitchen. Chloe, I am embarrassed to tell you that I picked up the, 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 the plaque for the soup kitchen with the blessings on it that you sent. I picked it up, and I left it right on the cricket on my desk. Let, just set it. I just set the thing, the envelope on top of it and said I'm going to pick it up to bring, bring to the, my room when I was packing and totally forgot it. But it will get to the kitchen. It's going to be hanging in there. So forgive me for that. I'm older. <laughs> so it's a beautiful day, guys. It is absolutely beautiful. And for that, I'm giving thanks that we woke up this morning and we're still here. And we're able to still give thanks um, for all that God has provided and all that God has done and it continues to do. And so I say wherever you are, remember, like the videos, guys. Like up the little videos. Just give a thumbs up. If you don't even get to watch them, give them a thumbs up, man. Share them out and help people, help the channel to grow. And so... As we go forward, just make it a great day by choice. Miss Bev loves all of you. Miss Bev respects you. Miss Bev appreciates that you're here with me, growing with me, trying to become a better, stronger us, one pound at a time, one day at a time, one blessing at a time, all of those. <laughs> Take care, my people. If you can't be good, be careful. Walk good, do good, live good, be good to people, treat people well, lift them up, don't push them down. Just stay focused. Just place your hand in the hand of the Almighty. Never let go because he's going to be there. Opening those doors for us, all of us. And just doing, helping us to survive. Take care, my people. Bye.